Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig tutorial. In this episode I talk about the ring mod device. This is a ring modulation device and what you can do with it and how it works. I will tell you right now, but let's get started. So this is the ring mod device and um, I put in front of the ring mod device a polygrid with a sine wave and this sine wave is about 430 hertz uh, tone uh, note A and when I switch on the um, ring mod with the wet knob on the right side so we can only get the wet signal it sounds like this the original and the target okay so what is happening the there is the original um, sine wave with with um, 440 hertz and when this um, uh, goes into the ring mod there is an oscillator this is a sine oscillator and i um, put the sine oscillator on 200 hertz and now the following is happening the 440 hertz is um, the uh, carrier sign signal and the 200 hertz sine wave is the modulator signal and the 440 hertz will be or well, the 200 hertz will be added to the 440 hertz so it it uh, equals uh, 640 hertz and at the same time it is um, um, subtracted from 440 hertz so you get 240 hertz so from the original frequency 440 hertz at the end there is 640 and 240 hertz left and if the um, mix um, dial is completely on the wet side you only have 640 and 240 hertz over that is why the in the spectrum you see from from the 440 hertz at the end the 640 and the 240 like this and um, when you move the dial in between somewhere between a dry and wet signal you get for sure some mixed signals from that so that's already the whole ring modulation this is nothing complicated it's just taking one signal then using a modulator signal to add some frequency and to subtract some frequency and depending on the uh, mix style you will end up with from one um, from, from one signal to two signals or two frequencies or divided and not divided uh, subtracted and added um, frequencies that's all that the ring modulation is doing and um, a lot of um, sounds that uh, where the ring modulation uh, is used are like metallic sounds because um, when I play the an octave like without the ring modulation and I um, use the ring modulation right now and play the same octave again this sounds like a little bit dissonant because the frequency are just added and subtracted but not in a harmonic way so it fits to the actual pitch of the input signal it's just like plus 200 in this case or minus and minus 200 in this uh, case as well so if i put that like 400 something i use the a again this is the original one I put the 458 together you do the math a little bit less like around 100 okay nice You see the wiggling in the oscilloscope here, what's happening. This is 
the original. There's a mixture of those three frequencies. And now two frequencies are left. And because um, they are overlapping, there's still interference between those frequencies. So that's really everything this, uh, um, the ring modulation is doing. Then you sure have um, some other options in this um, Bitwig device as well, like Source of X, where you can um, put some effects to the source signal and the source signal um, may not be only a sinus, uh, a sine oscillator, <laughs> sinus, sine oscillator. It could be something else from another track, like um, uh, an audio file or another VST or another, I don't know, um, sawtooth or whatever, <laughs> or Bluetooth, sawtooth or Bluetooth. Um, that's completely your choice what you what you put in. But the standard is like this sine oscillator. Uh, sign oscillator then the um, effects you can put in the in front of the um, input signal then you have a pre uh, pre fx section when uh, the signal comes into the ring modulation and a post fx um, section where you can just um, work on or process the uh, effect signal then you have a gain where you can um, yeah, make it louder or, or um, more silent the whole signal and for sure the uh, mix dial to dial in the dry or wet signal or the mixture in between. That's a complete um, device and uh, this is nothing like yeah oh yeah um, effect. Everybody would love to use it because um, you use it, you should, well, you can, you sh maybe should use it in a different way because just putting in here, you can use it li uh, like a little bit wet signal. So, it sounds a little bit like the old telephone. FM dial tone frequency modulation. It's not the same. Nothing to do with that. But the sounds, the the uh, notes sound like a little bit like those, like those um, tones. So what you can do with that? Um, for example, I put in here a polysynth. Let's do. Let's make that our default preset. So everything should sound no. So this is the original the original polysynth. And here is a, a ring mod. The same thing like uh, we had some seconds ago. And to make it a little bit more beautiful, I put in the new delay plus in here with a little bit space and feedback and stuff. And a little bit ping pong. So that's all. So at the moment, the polysynth sounds with like this. Spacey. And with the whole uh, ring mod, it sounds like this. Like dissonant, like a little bit metallic and, and everything. So what you can do is um, you play with a lot of things except the pitch. The pitch, uh, you can play for, uh, with the pitch as well because the sound is then a little bit different. But uh, you don't play melodies with the pitch because now you're creating some sort of spacey sci-fi sounds at the end. I just press the A note, should be the 440 hertz, I think. Is it too high? I don't know. Like this one, there's a sine oscillator with 200 hertz, and I put it maybe between somewhere else, four, seven, between 400 and 700 hertz. And now I put in the um, resonant filter, like here, and the cutoff like here 
and now things gets interesting. It's very quiet at the moment. A little bit louder, or maybe not. Uh, maybe not here right now. Just do it here. Too loud. And between here, you have to sweep very carefully through those frequencies with the filter because there are a lot of. I use the uh, left mouse click and add the right mouse click to it so it can sweep slower. A bit slower. I use, for example, another filter type like the low pass four pole. It's more extreme. I think this is far too loud. If you go um, far um, higher, it gets like very shrill and aggressive. So it depends which sounds you want to create. Go on that on that filter region. I use, for example, barn path. And sometimes the magic happens when you move in a specific area. This is one. And now we start um, manipulating the carrier sound, the original sound from the polysynth. We add, for example, some um, filter modulation to it. Wait. Like that, so you hear the difference. We put that, for example, a little bit back, so you get from the original sound a little bit. You hear that sound moving. Depending on the movement you are doing with the filter, or for example, I put some more unison in here. Now the ring mod is doing some more and some more voices. See? There's like a blubbering. Put down oscillator, for example. So this is really like dialing everywhere to achieve some completely different sounds. Maybe some feedback. We're using here the shape mode. Or changing the um, key tracking. Key tracking. 
We're using, for example, the second oscillator from the polysynth as well. Maybe like this. Maybe some unison as well, but not stereo. Shaper, for example, and this one, no key tracking. Or for example, the sink. Or the pulse width. Off. Maybe some noise. filter modulation to the other side or some other algorithm over here. Or again another frequency from the modulator, like very slow and you get like a pulsing effect. Talking a little bit. Increasing the speed again of the modulator. If you get too high, it could be complicated in the more on the right side of the filter. The shrill could put something like in here, like a whistling, and now you play the whistle just with the oscillator frequency here. For example, so there's a lot of different ways how you can search for sounds. This one, for example. And stuff, and you can get uh, can get uh, lost completely <laughs> while sweeping through all those sounds. And um, yeah, you should. This was only just like a sawtooth and a, rec a rectangle with some filter modifications and some other stuff. And if you use a more more complex input signal, you may um, uh, get some other results. I put here something like. Uh, my voice in with a filter and just deactivate everything. There's a flanger as well. 
here's the ring mod mix and uh, my voice was in German like the ring modulation is a very easy I forgot what it is Eine ring wait there is still flange on Eine ring modulation is etwas sehr einfaches. ring modulation is something really simple Eine ring modulation so this is what I'm telling you in German einfaches. Eine ring listen and repeat etwas sehr <laughs> no. einfaches. and when Eine I put here the ist etwas oscillator sehr with einfaches. 580 Eine hertz ring modulation is etwas sehr einfaches. Eine ring modulation is etwas sehr einfaches. Eine ring modulation is etwas sehr einfaches. Now I put in the, a delay because delay uh, reverb makes everything shinier. Sounds a little bit more like a mis mystical robot. And now I put in a filter. Activate here as well a random for the for the frequency of the oscillator. And as well the flanger for example. Now everything is modulating, but it could be that you say that you want to have, for example, a fixed filter frequency. This is not moving, for example. So you have this spoken audio file. Something like this. And there you can create a lot of different strange outer space sounds. And yeah, I would love to hear uh, from you what you find or what you're doing with RingMod. Maybe you didn't use RingMod because you didn't see a, a way to use it. I hope I could, sh uh, could have shown you a way to use it um, because it's you can really um, produce some nice and interesting sounds with it more not the melodic sounds more like effects or a robotic or metallic sounds um, but this has a high potential for a lot of different really cool sounds so let me know write in the comments um, uh, subscribe to the channel share my videos if you like and i would be happy to see you soon again stay healthy see you ciao ciao I'm going to